Sporkinator Science Labs. Greetings YouTube, my name is Sporkinator and I've got something extra special for you today. This is Not Monster Truck Simulator 2014. Details to come. So, it looks like I'll just uh, press space here to continue. Oh, there's the controls. Yep, it's got different camera views and stuff and... <laughs> Alright, let's start. Hello. There we go. There we go. Notice the tires don't really turn when I move. And if we look at the first person view, we have like a fuel gauge. And it's also indicated at the uh, top left corner, there's a timer ticking upward. Yeah, so if I'm not careful, I'll run out of fuel. And I think these coins give me like 10 points each. And more fuel. And the score counts down once per second as well. So the faster you move, the higher you score. And I like the third person view. That just happens to be uh, my personal favorite. And what happens when we cross the finish line? Oh, it goes to the next thing, I guess. Yeah. That's cool. It's like a ring of coins. Totally copying Mario or something. Yeah. All right. Now on this uh, third level, the finish line is all the way across the map, and we have to get there. But of course, we have to pick up the spinning circle things to continue to get fuel and score as high as we can. So, without further ado, let's get going. We catch some air, baby. Oh yeah. Looks like the coins are scattered all around the terrain. So I can go whichever way I want to. As long as I don't run out of fuel. Thing is, as long as I keep picking up these coins, I probably won't be running out of fuel anytime soon. Yeah, it's down at like 80% now, back up to 100 for a bit. Yeah. I have to admit the game's not very fun. Alright. Time to come clean. This is a game I made myself for my video game development class. And you see I just brushed up against a tree and the truck started going crazy and I lost control of it. That's because the game thought I was in midair. Anyway, I made this game myself for my uh, video game development course. It satisfied all the requirements. It's not that fun, but it had to uh, involve a monster truck. Well, I guess it didn't have to. I can make whatever game I wanted as long as it satisfied the requirements. But we started off messing around with this monster truck here. And what makes me sad is the way they implemented the speed. It basically translates itself forward on the uh, Z-axis, which is forward. So basically, when the truck goes over a hill like it did just now, it would do a loop-de-loop -loop like a roller coaster because it would keep on rotating after it flew, and it would just translate itself forward. And I'm not even kidding. It would do a loop like a roller coaster. So I had to fix that by locking the rotation while the truck was in the air because I couldn't really find any way, any other way to do it. This was made in Unity 3D. I'm not that experienced with Unity 3D. Don't really know what I'm doing. So I had... Yeah, it's glitched out again. Look at that. I can't move or do anything. Now I can. Oh, no I can't. Oh. Yeah, I didn't know how to fix that bug, so I worked around it by setting a timer to check the truck's speed. I don't know why the game thinks the truck's in mid-air when it's actually on the ground. But let's see, where was I? Uh, right, Unity 3D game development. So, yeah. I guess we should uh, adventure, th uh, adventure through the middle here. Gosh, the third-person camera's annoying. But I like it better than the other cameras. Which are the side view, other side view, back view, front view. So, yeah, if I can just back up here. Yeah, so, don't know what else to say about this. This game freaking sucks. I hate this game. Plot twist, though, is, of course, that I made it myself. In Unity 3D. For my class. This is the last level, by the way. I didn't make anything after this. So, the torture will be over soon. Oh, yeah, my score is almost 700 now. Now, as long as I don't get lost... I should find that finish line. Of course, you know I can cheat by saving gas by letting go of the gas key. I made it so it only burns gas when you're actually accelerating. I probably could have had it burn gas really slowly while being idle, but I didn't bother with that. Anyway, I think that's enough driving around in this stupid monster truck, which, by the way, was red by default. I made it yellow just because. I probably could have made it blue. 
blue and yellow would have been cool to match my logo. But anyway, thank you for watching Not Monster Truck Simulator 2014, and I will see you next time. Sporkinator out. Yep, that's the end. Great success. You have demonstrated that you are an expert at driving a Not Monster Truck. <laughs> Press space to play again. Yeah, no, that's it. I'm done. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Oh, look at that. The game crashed on exit. Anyway, see you next time.